And Hurricane Delta, still a Cat 3 hurricane with max sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. That's as of the 7 a.m. advisory, still expected to weaken as it nears landfall in southwest Louisiana. Eventually, we'll start to take a turn to the north northeast, currently moving to the north at 12 miles per hour. So, what you're seeing on your screen, this yellow, that is indicating the tropical storm force wind uh, radius. So, how far it will extend from the center. And this part particular model run from the National Hurricane Center has the wind field extending all the way to the I-55 corridor. So as of now, they extend outward to 160 miles from the center. So once it makes landfall this evening, we are going to continue to see our impacts increase. So more so this afternoon through the evening as it moves inland, it's going to continue to weaken and then we should be done with the rain tomorrow. But impacts still will be felt into tomorrow as well. The winds are still going to stick with us. So this morning, you can see the eye visible on the Doppler radar this morning, and we're not dealing with anything too terribly heavy, but overnight, you may have uh, been woken up by some of the wheel alerts on your phone. We had flash flood warnings around the area. Some spots saw over 10 inches of rain, and that led to some river rises. In fact, uh, the Comet at Jor Road is expected to enter moderate flood stage this evening as it crests around 25.5 feet currently. It's at 23.36 and it is rising. Now, the A meet at Denham is expected to enter minor flood stage and crest around 30 feet tomorrow. And then the A meet at Bayou Manchac should crest uh, on Sunday. So we're going to continue to watch those, especially with some heavy rain expected to move in. So you can check in with us and we'll continue to follow this and keep you guys posted. Northeast wind at 12 miles per hour. Winds are picking up a little stronger in Lake Charles right now as some outer rain bands move ashore as well. They're seeing moderate to heavy rain. We're just dealing with some light rain. Now, winds are going to pick up throughout the day. We could see some heavy rain with some of the rain bands. As of now, the estimates for the rain, two to five inches locally higher in rain bands. That's what we saw last night. That will be the case later today as well. As for winds, 25 to 45 miles per hour possible, so tropical storm force uh, winds with higher gusts, maybe 50 to 70 or greater. So prepare for, again, some strong winds this afternoon and this evening. The strongest winds will be closest to the Atchafalaya River and then near where it makes landfall, so southwest Louisiana. Also watching for the potential for spin-up tornadoes. That's going to be a threat starting later this morning, lasting through tonight. Uh, we have several alerts in effect, including the tropical storm warning. This, is a, this has been in effect as, again, we could see winds in excess of 39 miles per hour or greater, and then they're likely to penetrate inland later this morning into the afternoon. The, the National Hurricane Center is saying most likely by the afternoon, but as early as later this morning. We have storm surge warnings, coastal flood advisories in effect, as we could see inundation of one to three feet for our tidal lakes, and then from Morgan City to Port Fouchon, four to seven feet of inundation. And even once this leaves the area, we're still going to be dealing with high water. So again, a heads up. Uh, as I mentioned, there is the risk for some spin up tornadoes. We're under a slight risk, level two out of five on the scale for spin up tornadoes, and they can spin up with little to no warning. So be sure, again, you have multiple ways to receive warnings and warnings. If we have any flash flood warnings, we have a flash flood watch in effect. So, walking you through the future cast, this is simulating what it could potentially look like along with wind gusts, showing some wind gusts in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour, and then rain should not let up, as I mentioned, until at least late tonight with uh, conditions improving as we head into Saturday. But again, going to be windy. Stay weather aware.